hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c cube equals to 2 and we solve this problem for all the values of c because you see here uh, the degree of this uh, equation is 3 it means that this equation has three roots so we find all that three roots either these roots are real or complex we need to find it uh, now first we focus in the right hand side and first we convert our right hand side into the cubic form so uh, this will be written as c cubed equals to we write uh, we can apply the cube and cube root at the same time in the right hand side and it will be written as cube root of 2 and its whole cubed and now we move uh, this term in the left hand side and it will be written as c cubed minus cube root of 3 and its whole cubed and this is equals to 0 and now uh, we apply here the cubic formula uh, you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so we uh, can just uh, put the values of a and b in the below formula and after substituting these values our above equation is written as uh, so first you have a minus b the value of a is c minus the value of b is cube root of 2 into a square so here our a is c square plus a b a is c and b is cube root of 2 plus b square so b is cube root of 2 and its whole square and this is equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c minus cube root of 2 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write c square plus c into cube root of 2 plus cube root of 2 and its whole square is equals to 0 and now from first case we easily get the value of c is equals to cube root of 2 so this is the our first solution of the given equation and now here in order to find the other solutions we need to focus on this equation and you see here this is uh, the quadratic equation in c variable and now here we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so that first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital a is equals to 1 capital b is equals to uh, cube root of 2 and capital c is equals to cube root of 2 and its whole square and now in the next step uh, we uh, just state the quadratic formula as c is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c here and now in the next step uh, when we put these values of a b and c here it will be written as the value of b is cube root of 2 so it will becomes uh, cube root of 2 plus minus square root of b square so b is cube root of 2 and its whole square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is uh, cube root of 2 and its whole square and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as c is equals to minus cube root of 3 plus minus square root of uh, here you see that this term is common so when we take it common it will be written as 
cube root of 2 and its whole square into when you take common from here we get 1 minus when you take common from here we get minus 4 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as c is equal to uh, here you uh, write it as cube root of 2 and plus minus you see that this 2 and this square root are gone and here we get cube root of 2 into square root of this is 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2 and now further in the next step uh, you see here uh, cube root of 2 be the common term uh, so that we will take common cube root of 2 in the numerator side so after taking common this term uh, uh, we write the remaining terms are uh, first we write cube root of 2 into here we get minus 1 plus minus uh, here you see that negative sign appears inside the square root uh, so it will becomes uh, iota okay so here we have this is square root of 3 into we get iota and it is divided by 2 and now further in the next step uh, you see here these two terms have same basis so that we apply here the nice exponent law so according to this exponent law we uh, move the exponent of the numerator term to the denominator side and it will be written as minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 into iota divided by 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 over 3 so further in the next step uh, we need to take the LCM in the denominator term and we have minus 1 plus minus uh, this is square root of 3 into iota divided by here when you take the LCM of the denominator term we will get here 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 equals to 2 over 3 so this is the uh, two values of C so finally we have the three roots of the given equation are c1 is equals to here we can choose the positive value it is minus 1 plus square root of 3 into iota divided by uh, 2 to the power of 2 over 3 and uh, the second root c2 is equals to minus 1 minus square root of 3 into iota divided by 2 to the power of 2 over 3 and its third root c3 is equals to cube root of 2 so these are the final three roots of the given equation and this is now our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos